If you're a fan of small dogs, or looking for a pint-sized pooch to call your own, then let me tell you this for free. You will not want to miss this video. We've scoured the globe to bring you a comprehensive list of the tiniest dog breeds out there. Dogs are so cute and tiny, they make Ant-Man look as big as Megalodon. We'll cover everything from their personalities to their exercise needs, so you'll have all the information you need to decide which of these dogs might be the perfect fit for you. Or you can just look at them and go, ah. These are the 20 smallest dog breeds in the world. Number 20. Toy Poodle. The Poodle embodies one of the most popular breeds in the world. This curly little dog with a mischievous face has a deeply lovable character. Of French origin, the Poodle descends from the Barbet, a water dog from which it inherited many characteristics. <coughs> It was thus used for several centuries for hunting aquatic birds. The modern selection of the poodle then moved towards the creation of a calm and easygoing dog, especially in the upper echelons of society, even at the court of Louis XVI, where it was highly appreciated, including by the king himself. Each dog, preferably those of dwarf size, was shorn, groomed, scented, or adorned with jewelry. Breeders sought to obtain original individuals endowed with a shapeless color as well as a kind, faithful, and playful character. The popularity of the poodle reached its peak during the Second French Empire, when it became an extremely popular companion dog for the bourgeoisie and the upper classes. The breed then spread to more modest homes during the 19th century. It was officially recognized by the FCI in 1934. Some sources dispute the poodle's French origins, attributing German roots to this breed. Many mentions and representations of this water dog have indeed been found since the Middle Ages on the other side of the Rhine. Additionally, the word puddlen, which means to splash in Low German, is said to have given rise to the dog's English name, Poodle. Number 19. Shih Tzu as a companion or lounge dog, the Shih Tzu seduces with its lively facial expressions. The Shih Tzu, its full name being Shih Tzu Ku, which means Tibetan Lion Dog, is part of the group called Tibetan Dogs. It came from a cross between a Pekingese and a Lhasa Apso, a breed with which it is often confused. It was the favorite dog of the Empress Dowager Sixi, which ensured it a place of choice within the forbidden city of Beijing at the beginning of the 19th century and the nickname Pearl of the Empress. She was particularly invested in its warm golden color, which she described as imperial honey. The death of the sovereign, then the fall of the empire, led to the decline of the breed in this region, while it began to be exported gradually to the rest of the world. In 1930, Lady Brownrigg, wife of British General Douglas Brownrigg, brought three specimens back with her to Europe. From 1934, the Lhasa Apso and the Shih Tzu were exhibited separately, until the official recognition of the second dog by the English Kennel Club in 1940. Its nickname, Lion Dog, is due to the proximity of the color of this dog to that of the Snow Lion, a legendary and emblematic animal in Tibet. Number 18. Chihuahua it's hard to believe that the smallest dog in the world and the most impressive mastiff have common ancestors, even distant ones. However, given its strong personality, there is no room for doubt. The Tequichi, a pre-Columbian dog from the Chihuahua region of Mexico, was present on the continent before the Spanish conquest. It lived there freely until its domestication by the Toltecs. The latter seemed to devote a cult to them. Many bones corresponding to their morphology were discovered in graves. Its success did not diminish under the Aztec Empire. Many statues of the time represent Tequichis. They also appear on pottery and decorative objects. Was the ancestor of the Chihuahua that we all know, crossed with the Chinese hairless dog, arrived on the new continent when it was still connected by an isthmus to the Bering Strait? Its figuration on a fresco by Botticelli, The Trials of Moses, <laughs> 
however, testifies to its existence in the Mediterranean basin from the 15th century, before the Europeans landed in America. In other words, we simply don't know. In any case, residents of Chihuahua preserved the breed and exported it in the 19th century to farms in North America, where the size of the dogs was lowered and refined, and then to Europe. Today, the Chihuahua is one of the most popular pets in the world. Number 17. Pomeranian An adorable toy dog with prehistoric origins, the Pomeranian, or Dwarf Spitz, seduces us with its liveliness, intelligence, and assertive character. The German Spitz breed, the oldest in Central Europe, comes in three varieties, the Wolf Spitz, the Large Spitz, and the Dwarf Spitz. They are called Canis Familiaris Palustris, meaning bog dogs, in reference to their region of origin made up of marshes and vast wetlands, Pomerania, which straddles Poland and Germany. This descendant of the Great Spitz, miniaturized by the selections of British breeders, soon stole the show from the pugs before giving up its rank to the Pekingese in the royal palaces of the world. However, first prize by the European aristocracy of the Victorian era, the Dwarf Spitz soon found success with the working class as well. Dwarf Spitz are distinguished by their magnificent thick fur and their bushy tail, which they carry majestically raised. If their small head recalls that of a fox, a resemblance accentuated by their alert and cunning gaze, their most striking physical characteristic is their proudly raised mane, like miniature lions. Always erect, Pomeranian ears are small and triangular. Their long and smooth coat is complemented by a short and abundant undercoat that is resistant to bad weather. The perfect little companion for the northern wetlands. Number 16. Pug. An iconic flat face, a corkscrew tail, and a cubic body, the pug is a funny little dog. Let yourself be seduced by its clown demeanor. Its representation on antique porcelain proves the Chinese origins of the pug, which it shares with the Pekingese. Imported by Dutch merchants sailing between China and the West in the 16th century, this little dog was a huge success among European aristocrats. It appears on numerous paintings with kings and queens, notably at Versailles during the reign of Louis XV. It is one of the oldest dog breeds in the world, still very very much popular today. The pug, along with the French Bulldog and the Boston Terrier, has a compact body that fits in a square. Sturdy, stocky, with solid muscles and a wide, well-sloped chest, this miniature mastiff wears a tail that is curled as tightly as possible over the hip, sometimes with a double curl, a characteristic of the breed that is much appreciated. In its wrinkled, black-coated face, its large, protruding dark eyes give it a mischievous and comical air. They have a large, round, massive head and a square, short muzzle. This little pooch fears the heat, which can quickly become fatal for the species. And it doesn't tolerate low temperatures, either. Number 15. Maltese these tiny little doggos only grow to around 7 to 12 inches and weigh about 4 to 8 pounds. It's a pocket-sized pooch. The Maltese Bichon can be recognized by its proud head carriage and its long, immaculate white coat. The origins of the Maltese are very old. Known since antiquity, we find mentions of its existence in Aesop, Theophrastus, or Aristotle. In ancient Rome, this little white dog was the favorite of matrons. Later, during the Renaissance, it was often depicted in paintings alongside ladies in salons, for example in Rubens's or Goya's works. The breed was officially recognized by the FCI in 1955. The term Maltese doesn't refer to origins linked to the island of Malta for this breed. This adjective comes from the Phoenician Malat, which means refuge or port. The ancestors of the Maltese indeed lived in large numbers in the ports of the Mediterranean or directly on board ships. They were particularly appreciated for their ability to hunt rodents in the docks or in the holds of boats. The Maltese is defined, first of all, by its small size and its elegant looks. It has a robust frame, muscular limbs, and good balance. You're not behaving. Sit. 
The coat is well furnished, shiny and silky, very long all over the body and without traces of curls or waves. And of course, it's pure white. Number 14. Papillon The papillon, which means butterfly in French, has every quality to be the perfect little companion dog. It is affectionate and gentle and shows unfailing loyalty to its master. Lively and playful, the papillon, or continental toy spaniel, is sought after for its kindness. It's very suitable for the elderly or families with children. The toy spaniel is a very old breed since the first references date back to medieval times. Initially, the feline spaniel was better known, which has drooping ears. Then, to comply with the requests of the royal courts or wealthy families, a real breeding work, which consisted in selecting small breeders, was done. The nobles of the Renaissance and the following centuries appreciated more than anything to have small dogs as pets. The continental toy spaniel, therefore, appeared around the 19th century. It is a dog that will have, and always has, a lot of success. It's also represented in many works by artists, such as Goya, for example. This miniature dog is well-structured with a length exceeding its height. It has an elegant look. Its head is round and expressive. Its ears are set back on the head and set well apart. They are worn straight and are trimmed with fringes. They evoke the shape of the open wings of a butterfly, hence its name. Number 13. Pavanese this adorable little pooch is native to the western Mediterranean region, where it hunted pests in the holds of ships and in ports. Some dogs were then taken to Cuba by Spanish or Italian colonists at the beginning of the 18th century. Therefore, the Havanese has evolved to adapt to local climatic conditions, in particular by developing a lighter coat to withstand the heat, but also a more rustic appearance. It was also crossed with the Blanquito de la Habana, another small dog breed, that was already present on the island, but that has disappeared today. Its name is reminiscent of Havana, which is Cuba's capital city. This breed is very unique. At the time it was introduced to the island, Cuba was subject to commercial restrictions imposed by Spain, which isolated the territory and then facilitated the development of a uniquely local breed. At the start of the 19th century, the Havanese had become a highly valued pet by wealthy local families. Some passing European travelers also fell under its spell and took a few individuals back to the old continent. The breed then experienced a critical phase with a significant drop in its numbers, which brought it closer to extinction after the 1959 revolution. Some subjects were, however, saved by people exiled abroad, especially in the United States, where breed enthusiasts were able to take up the breeding torch. The Havanese was definitively recognized by the FCI in 1963 and remains, to this day, the national breed of Cuba. Number 12. Yorkshire Terrier its name evokes a small red bow delicately placed on the neck of a luxury dog sitting on its embroidered cushion. However, the Yorkshire Terrier, a sturdy, determined, and lively ratter, is as active and demanding as its larger counterparts. It's believed that the ancestors of Yorkshire Terriers were Scottish dogs, at the time prized for their small size and ability to rid homes of rodents. They arrived in the north of England during the Industrial Revolution, brought from Scotland by workers and miners in search of work. Various crosses with terriers already settled in the territory and breeds that no longer exist today gave birth to this sturdy little ratter. Recognized in 1885 by the American Kennel Club, the breed prospered and became extremely popular, especially in high society, with a first standard established in 1898. Originally more rustic and enduring hunters, the Yorkshire Terrier, miniaturized by breeders, were gradually transformed into pleasure dogs perfect little pets. If the proportions of the York are reduced, they are no less harmonious. Its compact body contains a maximum of volume in a minimal size, and its fragile air should not be trusted. On the contrary, this terrier proves to be as solid and robust as possible, with dark eyes shining with intelligence. Small, but mighty. Number 11. Cavalier King Charles Spaniel one of the largest of the toy breeds, 
These adorable little pooches follow their humans everywhere, just waiting for a chance to jump in a lap. A close cousin of the flat-muzzled King Charles, the Cavalier King Charles comes from England. Its name refers to Charles Stuart II, a true lover of his hunting dogs. At the time, these little dogs were very popular at the court, and they appear in many master paintings. Much later, in the 1920s in the USA, Roswell Eldridge worked on the selection of the morphology that we all know today. The Cavalier King Charles comes from crosses between the ancient type of toy spaniel favored at the English court in the 17th century, Pugs, and the Pekingese. The latter made it lose its sporting qualities and its hunting skills in exchange for the incomparable qualities of the best companion dog. making it one of the favorite pets in the world. In 1945, the Cavalier King Charles breed was recognized by the Kennel Club and officially separated from the King Charles breed. With its compact, stocky body, broad, deep chest, and short, straight limbs, the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel looks great. On its almost flat skull are set low its iconic, long, hanging ears. The hair is long and silky, smooth, or very slightly wavy, with generous feathering on the legs, ears, and tail. Number 10. Russian Toy the Russian Toy Terrier is instantly recognizable by its large, pointed ears and piercing gaze. Beyond that, they're appreciated for their sociable, energetic, and alert character. As it lacks predation and hunting instincts, it can live with small animals provided it's been well socialized. People often mistake them for chihuahuas but they are in no way related. The Russian Toy Terrier stands out, first of all, for its small size, its lean muscles, and its fine bone structure. It displays a strong neck and straight back, a slightly marked withers, fine and lean front legs, straight and parallel hind legs, as well as a fast and easy gait. This dog, which is barely 10 centimeters tall and weighs a maximum of six pounds, has a small head with a small black nose and a pointed, dry muzzle. It is noted for its large, round, dark eyes, which are particularly expressive. The standard of the Russian Toy Terrier indicates two types of coats. On the one hand, there are individuals with a smooth and short coat without undercoat. On the other hand, some dogs have medium-length, wavy, or straight hair. The coat may be uniformly brown or black, or feature brown and tan or black and tan colors. The Russian Toy Terrier made its appearance in Russia around the 18th century following the introduction of several English toy terriers into the territory. The breed gained popularity with the Russian aristocracy and was even adopted by Emperor Peter the Great. Number 9. Pekingese they captivate us with their small size, their big eyes, and dense coat. The Pekingese is a real charmer, and how to resist, especially since it's a devoted, faithful, and courageous little fella. A real pearl as far as pets go, especially for the elderly. The Pekingese is immediately recognized by its small size. The males have an average height of 8 inches at the withers, and the females 7 inches, with an approximate weight of 7 to 12 pounds. Even with its short legs, it reveals a robust, compact, and harmonious body. The head is really very special. It's rather flattened and broad and reveals a pleated. And what about its large, very round, and dark eyes revealing an expression of mischief? When we observe it, we have the impression of being in front of a small lion. Its heart-shaped ears are provided with abundant and large feathering, which resembles a mane around its neck. The Pekingese has a straight, long, and dense coat without being too too abundant. The standard accepts all colors except albino and liver brown. Slightly curved on the back, the tail is set high and also provided with fringes. The Pekingese has Chinese origins, as its name implies. This is a very ancient breed that was considered sacred within the Chinese imperial court at the Forbidden City. Moreover, it's very present in works of art produced in particular at the time of the Sing Dynasty between the 17th and 20th centuries. Number 8. Miniature Pincher 
A small dog, the miniature pincher, is very popular as a companion dog. Playful and sociable, it greatly appreciates the company of children. Despite their tiny size, however, they are full of energy and require significant physical effort. It is a curious, expressive dog who loves the company of its human family above all else. <laughs> The miniature pincher originated from Germany, and more precisely from the Grand Duchy of Bavaria and the province of Württemberg. It is a descendant of the Doberman. The breed was created with the aim of eliminating pests, especially rats, in stables or inns. Being so little, this ratter was perfect for not scaring the horses. The miniature pincher became very popular towards the end of the 19th century in Germany, but also between the years 1905 and 1914 during dog shows. But the breed remained almost unknown outside of Germany until 1919, when it was exported to the United States. The first miniature pincher was registered by the American Kennel Club under the name Pincher Toy. Like many breeds, that of the miniature pincher almost disappeared after the Second World War. Fortunately, a German breeder, Werner Jung, managed to save the breed by devoting himself fully to the recovery of pinchers. Number 7. Italian Greyhound the Italian Greyhound is the smallest of all Greyhounds. It is a remarkably refined and elegant dog. Gifted for speed races, this little Greyhound ironically greatly appreciates the comfort of a house or an apartment. Very affectionate, it's a dog who has a real attachment to its masters. The height at the withers is 13 to 15 inches and the weight is 7 to 14 pounds. The Italian Greyhound is a very old breed whose appearance dates back to the time of the pharaohs. It's a descendant of a breed of Egyptian greyhounds, small in size, who lived 5,000 years before Jesus Christ. Italian greyhound mummies have also been discovered in the tombs of pharaohs. Its import stems from numerous commercial exchanges between Egypt and Greece. It arrived in the northern Mediterranean region as a hunter of rats and snakes. Around the 5th century BC, it landed in Italy and was noted for its elegance and small size. Craftsmen have even been inspired by it by representing the Italian greyhound on pottery. During the Renaissance, the Italian greyhound enjoyed great success with the royal courts. That's why it's present on many works of art like painting and tapestries, including the famous Lady with the Unicorn. In the 19th century, the breed nearly became extinct, and the survivors were miniaturized and changed into lap dogs. They were then used to warm the ladies' feet of high society. Number 6. Brussels Griffin in the range of small dogs with a singular appearance, you are not at the end of your surprises. Among those who mark the spirits is the Brussels Griffin. It's distinguished by its traits often assimilated to that of humans. This lively and funny dog is a pleasant companion for the whole family. Now, This is a very small dog, measuring between 7 to 10 inches in height for a weight of 8 to 10 pounds. Endowed with an elegant look and a very present frame, the Brussels Griffin has nonetheless Nonetheless, a solid and powerful body. Its head shape is recognizable miles away because it recalls that of a person. With a crushed face, it is voluminous compared to the rest of the body and provided with a disheveled and hard coat. The hair becomes denser and thicker on the chin and cheeks and forms a kind of thick mustache. The muzzle and the eyes are also covered with hair. Small, the ears are set well apart and set high. The eyes are round, large, brown, preferably very dark. Elsewhere, the hair is mid-length and is adorned with slight undulations. Coming from Belgium, as its name suggests, the Brussels Griffin is also a descendant of the Smaus Jay, which also comes from the Brussels region. It was mainly used by Brussels coachmen to watch carts and horses or to eliminate rats in stables. Number 5. Chinese Crested with its very original appearance, the Chinese Crested Dog is one of those breeds that's recognizable at first glance. 
The origins of this hairless dog are still rather unclear today. The oldest traces of its existence date back to the Han Dynasty, 206 BC to 220 AD, as a particularly popular companion dog at the Imperial Court. The breed was also used by sailors, who took it on their boats to hunt rodents. In the centuries that followed, Chinese crested dogs were bred as treasure guardians, but also as hunting dogs. They were used as currency during port stops, which contributed to the spread of the breed throughout the world. The breed was exhibited for the first time in the United States at the end of the 19th century, then in Central America. Some sources consider it to be the ancestor of the Mexican hairless dog. Two distinct varieties of Chinese crested can be born in the same litter, hairless and completely covered in hair. A single dominant gene causes the hairless feature. Dogs with two copies of the hairless gene unfortunately don't make it past the embryonic stage. This is why both varieties, the hair hairless and the regular are necessary for the breed to survive. Number 4. Affin Pincher no, this is not an Ewok that has escaped from the moon of Endor. It is an Affin Pinscher. It's a very old breed of dog that's distinguished by its small size, its sulky but sometimes a little clownish air, and its features resembling a small monkey, or, you know, an Ewok. This breed is ideal for both children and the elderly. This dog brings joy to the home. The Affin Pinscher, whose name is derived from the German Affa, which means monkey, descends from the wire-haired Pinscher and could also be related to the Brussels Griffin. It is a relatively old breed that dates back to the 16th century. We find his ancestors in particular on the woodcuts of Albrecht Dürer, a German artist who lived between 1471 and 1528. At the time, the Affen Pinscher was used as a house dog for its unparalleled ratter skills. The breed then enjoyed great success around the beginning of the 20th century. Despite a decline in number of Affen Pinschers due to the First World War, their popularity continued to grow in the interwar period. With the Second World War, the breed nearly disappeared completely. Exported to the United States in 1935, the AKC recognized the breed the following year. Today, the Affen Pinscher breed remains very little known, even in its country of origin, Germany. Number 3. Japanese Chin its proud look, the very short muzzle, its small size, and the iconic plumed tail. These are, in a few words, the particularities of the Japanese chin. This cheerful, affectionate, and intelligent breed has only one ambition, to become your best companion. Beneath its stocky and robust appearance, the Japanese chin is not dedicated to work. It reveals a very elegant physique and is, on average, 10 inches tall for a weight of around 11 pounds. The body ends in a full and long tail carried in a plume and slightly raised. This breed is recognizable by its head with atypical features. It has a broad skull with a short muzzle devoid of wrinkles and a broad nose that gives it a dignified and serious look. The Japanese chin has abundant fur. It's long all over the body except on the face. The coat has a white background with black and red markings appearing on the ears, around the eyes, and even on the back. Now, contrary to what one may think, the Japanese chin did not appear for the first time in Japan, but rather in Korea, where it was exported to the land of the rising sun in 750 as a gift for the emperor. It experienced great prosperity there, going so far as to be considered a sacred race that could only be owned by noble families. The Japanese chin was introduced to Europe around the 16th century, where it also enjoyed dazzling success. Many personalities have adopted it, to name only Queen Victoria and Marie Anne. Antoinette. Number 2. Toy Fox Terrier the Toy Fox Terrier originated in the United States during the first half of the 20th century. Its British ancestor, the Smooth Fox Terrier, was very popular in the 19th century in its home country for fox hunting. It was at this time, and more precisely during the second half of the century, that the first specimens crossed the Atlantic. They quickly conquered the public and made a place for themselves both with hunters and dog show enthusiasts. From the beginning of the 20th century, many American breeders saw too many 
miniaturize this smooth fox terrier. Their goal was to keep its talents for the extermination of pests, such as rats, which were particularly annoying on farms, while creating a dog that was easier to maintain with lower exercise and food needs, which could also live in the city. To achieve this goal, the smallest specimens of fox terrier were crossed with various breeds of toy dogs, which ensured the genetic diversity essential to developing a dog enjoying overall good health. It was mainly chihuahuas and Italian greyhounds that were thus used in addition to the fox terriers themselves, but the contribution of other breeds, such as the miniature pincher and the miniature Manchester terrier, was also important. By the 1930s, the breed was stabilized and the dogs obtained already had their current appearance. Number 1. The Yorkie Poo the very closed circle of designer dogs continues to grow and welcomes a newcomer, namely the Yorkie Poo. This miniature dog, resulting from a hybridization between the Yorkshire Terrier and the Poodle, keeps some particularities of its ancestors, like their intelligence. By its small size, it is the perfect apartment dog. Since this is a very new breed, not much is known about the Yorkie Poo just yet. This miniature dog measures between 7 and 15 inches and weighs on average between 5 and 15 pounds. Its weight and size will mainly depend on the breeds that participated in its crossing, according to experts. The Yorkie Poo is recognizable by its broad, medium-sized head and elongated snout. It has sparkling and shiny eyes that have a brown or dark color and express sweetness. Medium in size, the ears, for their part, hang on the sides and have rounded ends. The uniqueness of the Yorkie Poo is also based on its coat, which is soft, silky and can be smooth or wavy. Since the hair is free of dandruff and doesn't fall out, this dog is hypoallergenic and suitable for people who are sensitive to pet hair. Its coat is very variable and can display different colors – black, brown, chocolate, gray, white, red, or cream. Designer dogs have been popular in recent years. These are breeds created from other pure breeds in order to obtain a dog with specific physical characteristics. Aesthetics is especially sought after in crossbreeding work hence the notion of designer dog. As you can see, not all small dogs are the same. They all have their own history and place of origin. What about you? Which one of these adorable little pooches is your absolute favorite and why? Tell us about it. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.